Good evening, fellow viewers. I am James. And I'm Matt. And this is our first podcast. We decided to do a podcast because our machinima is quite slow. Progression. Progression. Because there's only the two of us. <laughs> only two of us, yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're probably quite bad at this, so uh, bear through it, but uh, we'll try to we'll, get we'll better get at eventually. it. eventually. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. And this is mostly for our 16 subscribers that are our loyal fans, and we thank them a lot for waiting for Lemon, Lime and Bitters to come out with episode 2. Or if there are more subscribers coming, then this is for you too. We yep. love you all. <laughs> um, we thought we'd mix it up a bit with other gaming news. This is, we're doing this in inspiration from Inside Gaming Debt, from Inside Gaming Daily, which I've been watching for a fair while. Such as things with the latest media issues, like the R rating in Australia, EA versus Activision, and well, that's what we thought we'd do today. In relation to the R rating in Australia... Which is kind of stupid. I think it's good, because it means I can play r games and not have censored crap. They just shouldn't censor it at all. But... There, there's no point to it. The, the parents should be able to stop their kids from getting these games. It's all because of the parents. Well, parents are lazy. So, yeah, we have to... Or, or just stupid. Either one. Yeah, I, I'm going with laziness. That, that's but yes, it's, lazy. it's good, because then... Adults in Australia will be able to play games which are for adults, such as Mortal Kombat, which I got. I which he got anyway, because he does a lot of the government. illegal. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2, I got that when it was censored, because I thought I saw it on the news. Hang on. Um, yeah, you no, still got like, another uncensored version. No, it requires a patch, but I beat the game, I did like it very much anyway. It's funny <laughs> how I don't really like all the games, just, it's just uh, uncensored anyway. Yeah, that's fun and quite boring. Yes, and also on Steam, games such as Red Orchestra 2, although... It Where go with Red to what? Red Orchestra 2, have you never heard of it? No. no. Well, it's like a World War II multiplayer game, which I think Trip Y, yeah, Trip Y made. The people who made Killing Floor. And they've censored it for now, just in the Steam store, because they're waiting for the, for the Australian government to see if we'll have an R rating or not, which looks like which looks like we may just have it. We may. Yeah, at the end of the year. Oh. Which will be well, good. I guess that's indeed. Good it's for quite good. People. <laughs> Other R rating released news. Oh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, when Alien vs Predator came out, I was confused by that because I they thought didn't censor that, did they? No. Nah, no. Nah, nah, they like they said that they were going to ban it. I don't know if thought it was banned, but then suddenly it just came out in stores. It was like uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Our government is just wacko at times. Yeah, it's always retarded. Damn Australia. Oh, <laughs> indeed. Uh, other latest gaming issues. I'm sure you've all heard of the EA versus Activision news thing, where Mr. Brown oh, has... Battlefield versus Modern Warfare 3. Yes, but also implying with Mr. Brown attacking the new CEO of Activision, uh, Eric. Activision got a new CEO. Yeah, I was surprised about that too. I thought they still had Bobby Kotick, but obviously not. I wonder, uh. wonder what happened to him. Anyway, this is... It's quite good that they're trying to compete with each other, since they're trying to compete with each other, since in the end, it's us gamers who will win, because we'll get an even better product <laughs> than before, so if you think of it like that way, it's quite good. Either way, we win. Oh, and I'll laugh if there's any, like, COD is better than Battlefield, or Battlefield is better than COD comments. That'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. There'll be hundreds of them. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know. We've already got 16 su subscribers. Yeah. Who knows? So maybe 16 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be an even score. Uh, In my opinion, EA is better. I prefer Battlefield. Battlefield um, is way, way more tactical than Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, you just you just run around and you, you yeah, just try to it, shoot It's the everyone. gameplay. They found a good formula. Because like, the one thing which almost breaks Battlefield for me to not like it very much. That's in Bad Company 2, which I don't like. Which Bad I Company think 2 was it's, awesome. it's good. It's good. It's putting C4 on the walls and just blowing stuff up. It's good fun. And Have the you one ever thing tried sniping in Battlefield Bad Company 2? Hmm? Sniping. Have you ever tried that in Bad Company 2? Yeah, so it's got a drop thing and you have to try aim carefully. Yes. That was awesome. <laughs> yes, but the one thing that kind of makes it a game breaker for me, which is kind of why I like Battle 
Call of Duty a bit more is because when you're running, you can't press A or D. It's really annoying. You like, can't press A or D. No, you can't strafe while you're running. So <laughs> you, just, you can only aim with a mouse. It's like really tunnel vision kind of. It's just annoying. Mm. Call of Duty doesn't have that. You can just like do all sorts of stuff. But I'm, I'm going to get flames for this. Which is why oh. it's unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Very unrealistic. Yes. Plus the graphics in Battlefield is way better. Yes, the graphics in Battlefield 3 are going to be awesome source. Or the like, have you seen those videos in, all over YouTube of Battlefield yeah. 3? That it's pretty cool. And Modern Warfare 3, we've just got like... Pretty the much one, the same graphics. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly the same graphics as pretty much Modern Warfare 2. I actually think. haven't seen much about Modern Warfare 3. They did one trailer, which is just like... Which I saw the... Yeah, I saw that trailer too. Yeah, the, the skit of... With uh, what's his name? The director who did Transformers. Uh, how they <laughs> did the South Park skit on that? That was pretty funny. <laughs> I think someone on YouTube made that. Compliments to you, sir. You are a good person. Um, yes, the trailer was just people just going explosion, explosion, and uh, that was pretty much it. Not really that much stuff to it. And also, they've done a new trailer now of the Spec Ops, well, the survival thing. That actually looks pretty good. And also, the model. Hmm? Yeah. Is that like a new game mode? Yes. Have you not seen any of it? Jeez. Like get, I said, get, I haven't get, seen much about Modern Warfare. Yeah, they've yeah. done a survival mode, which is kind of like zombies, kind of, but you're resting troops instead. And you can call in your own air support and stuff, and you've got to survive round after round. Oh, yeah. I'm excited, because in the video, I think I saw a Model 1887. So it'll be Model fun. 1887. Yes, I <laughs> hope they're back, because that was pretty cool. They were quite cool in Modern Warfare 2, despite the fact that I... Never actually got to use them much. Yeah, I remember using them in Modern Warfare 2. I remember on a state, I was trying to kill someone. I was five feet away from them and I still didn't hit them. I was like, wow, these guns got nerfed pretty badly. Yeah. But, yes, I think Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3 will win in sailors, but Battlefield 3 will be, the, will be a better game. But I've also heard that DICE are making it so that you can use A and D in Battlefield 3, oh, yeah. I think. So yes, I think... Well, that solves your problem then. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Very good fun. Yeah. In other game-related news, uh, there's a few new games which I'm not such of a uh, knowledgeable person on these yeah, yeah. as I don't go searching the webs every waking hour of the day. <laughs> Never do I. just like l- see it each day. But yes, we thought we'd do short reviews on Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3. Well, why would we do that? We just explained half that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Bioshock Infinite and Mass Effect 3. I'm really looking forward to Mass Effect 3. I'm a massive fan yes, of that's Mass Effect awesome. series. I actually played them way out of order. I played uh, Mass Effect 2 first, because uh, James here got it uh, earlier and then I could get Mass Effect and I just decided why not. And so I had no fucking idea of anything that the story was going on yes. before that. But I am now I've got both played both games and are up to date on it, and I'm looking really forward to Mass Effect 3. That's going to be my favourite game that comes yeah. out soon. I also bought Mass Effect 2 and then Mass Effect 1. I thought I'd beat them in order. It was back then I was like playing well As you and usually do. stuff, and I wasn't really into single player games. But it was funny the way I go into single player games again, which I hated before, was that me and Matt went to see True Grit at the cinemas and then we, then we bought Red Dead Redemption under Nightmare oh, and then that, then that triggered something in my mind to want to play multiplayer to go and play single player games again and ever since then I like went through all the Bioshocks all the Mass Effects I uh, beat Dragon Age 2 which I don't really, I'm, I'm going to get flamed for this so much but I actually like Dragon Age 2 more than <laughs> Dragon Age 1 only because I haven't like I've only beat like the first you few only beat You only beat Dragon Age 2 before you even played Dragon Age Actually, I played the study on Dragon Age 1 and I thought it was pretty meh. I'm Dragon pretty Age sure 2. most people who have played Dragon Age Origins will agree with me that Dragon Age 2 was much worse than Dragon yeah. Age Origins. I tried it, playing it Dragon Age... It was all console lies, though. Yeah. I, I tried playing Dragon Age Origin, um, Dragon Age 2 and I could only get through about two hours of it. I just couldn't stand it after then. It was yeah. too much like the console Fair for enough, me. It yeah. just but the reason I loved it, it so annoying. much was because of the combat. I just loved the combat so much. The Tw- combat was a lot more interesting. It um, yeah. they did put in some nice uh, moves in there. Yeah, it was, a, it was compared like to robotic, the being a old, rogue, it was awesome. Compared to Dragon Age Origins, where they sort of just had a one-hit system <laughs> thing. <Yeah. laughs> but um, 
I still prefer Dragon Age Origins. It had a much better story from what I could see and much more interactive. Fair enough. Yeah, I've still got to beat um, Dragon Age Origins. Talking. I got the Ultimate Edition of Steam for like $25. Still have to beat it. <laughs> yes. I, it was, yeah, it's interesting because I love Dragon Age 2 so much that the day it was released on Steam, I played it for, f- I played it for five days straight and it, and it took me about 30... Five days. Yeah. That, that's with breaks, right? <laughs> or yes, I'm yes. just thinking you wouldn't be yes, here right I'd now. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it took me about 36, no, 35 hours to beat. It was like, I don't know, what, like six or seven hours a day? Christ. Mm-hmm. Fuck. That is actually quite a bit. Yes. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, I haven't heard about this. What, yes, what I've seen it? a few trailers of it. There's, there's a 15 minute gameplay, which I did pretty well of, when it's in game. There's a few trailers of it, which looked interesting. Since I beat Bioshock 1 and 2, I'm personally thrilled to play number, or to play Bioshock 3 Infinite, Infinite. as it looks pretty <laughs> awesome. What about uh, story-wise? Are they like connected uh, it in any way, or is it completely different? I think it's completely different. Like it's based in like, uh, so like floating city called Columbia. And now floating city instead of one underwater, uh, <laughs> yes. going in the opposite direction. Mm, indeed. And you get like a little thingy on your arm where you can just like glide around on those rails throughout the city. What like a hook? Yeah, thing. hook thing. Yeah, it's like a roller coaster. It's really cool. That actually does sound kind of awesome. Yeah. Um. That's all we have for today. We're also looking to call our podcast something unique. So if you guys, our subscribers or anyone else watching, would like to suggest cool, fun names for us, please Just help. leave your suggestions in the comment section. Yes, and please comment. And hopefully we'll use your one. Yes, and comment on anything we could improve on. Which would probably be quite a lot. Well, it is our first podcast and, well, this thing went for <laughs> like almost... 12 minutes so oh, much wow. so that, much for a short podcast that, that's a lot better than what I thought it would be yeah I thought it'd be like for your four minutes yeah it's like yeah and uh, we decided we'd leave you with this and short 10 second yeah. video which uh, are you our segment called 10 seconds of the internet so enjoy kill joy game over